Uh, so I was looking in storage the other day for a couple of kids I really wanted to look at, and I think I found an even better uh, bunch of kits to look at. They're the really weird line of 1-200 scale Gundam 00 action figure model kits. And if you haven't heard of them, I wouldn't be surprised, because they came out in 2008 when Season 2 came out, and there were five, as far as I know, and that's it. I've never seen another line like it. They're always usually 144, 1100, super deformed, and then you'll get a perfect grade sometime, and the real grade. But the, not 1-200 scale in terms of models. There are some, but these are like really cheap. I want to say they were like probably 5 bucks or 500 yen when they came out. It's been a while, uh, but I know they weren't that much. And for what they are, they are they're amazing. Um, now, Curios here, or sorry, Arios, blue and white. Everything else would be stickers, but I did use Gunna Marker on all of them. Funny thing, trying to find pictures for the uh, unpainted or un uh, Gunna Markered uh, versions, I couldn't find it except for box art. Now here's what the Curios would normally look like, and this is with the few stickers it comes with. So. Every other picture I've found are all painted because you, you, you feel the need to. You really do. And it doesn't transform because, well, that cockpit ain't right. And the shoulders would have to go up farther, which they don't. But, you know, for a very cheap model, the posability, it's it's there. It has pretty much everything you what you would expect for a model. Like even decent uh, angle tilt. And these even move, even though they don't transform. And it does come with a beam saber and a hold a closed fist hand for the uh, right hand. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they do. So yeah, that's the Arios. Now the next uh, kit I think got off semi decent, like the uh, Arios or Arios. Duh, is the Double O. So it's blue and white. Everything else would be stickers or uh, paint or gun marker. Here it is, beside the uh, normal version, with just the stickers. And it does have a closed fist and the uh, GN Sword 2. It's like, it has one. It would be nice for two, but hey, at least it's got something that's uh, very specific than a beam saber. And its posability is also really up there. Actually, this hand's fused. I just noticed that. <laughs> I didn't notice they were. I thought they all they both came apart. Eh, well, but for once again, for something so cheap, simple. I like how they put stickers in the calves to try and like cover that. Like, oh, yeah, that's funny. Or not calves, uh, yeah, who cares? But yeah, the thigh, yeah, because thigh rotation. That's something I was really surprised about. Thigh rotation is something so small. And this is the reason there's five kits in the line. The Trans Am version. Now this is the one that I didn't paint because it, it looks kind of cool. With the metallic stickers and the uh, maroon. It's not even the right kind of color for Trans Am. But I'll take it. It's kind of like a metallic -y red. It's got like a little bit of shine. Maybe it's all just glossy. But yeah, really simple stuff. You can barely see the eyes and the stickers too. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, undetailed. You really and see the metallic red uh, for the thighs. Good stuff. Uh, the actual, I'd say the absolute best in the line in terms of how it got off of the limited uh, plastic is the Cheritum. Because it's red and white. And that's basically what the Cheritum is. I mean, it has a little bit of grate, which I have added for like the joints, the, the which it, look, two, it gets two GM pistols, not one, not a beam saber. Now, it the thing is they're molded into the hands. You can't change them out, but I mean, for for what it is, who, who needs to change the hands out? He's got the guns, he's a small kit. You can pose him bang, bang. Like he's, he's also got really good posability. And even without those stickers, it could be worse for sure. This thing got off really, really well. A little hollow some places, but I think it, it was a pretty good one. And the absolute worst, I think we know, because there's, you know, if you're only going to have five kits and one is Trans Am, then you know you have to have the Seraphy. It, I think I did a pretty decent job with this thing, with Gundam Marker, 15 years ago. Because it's blue and white. And not like a navy blue, no, it's like a true blue. It's, it's a pretty vibrant blue. Look, there it is. That's not even close to Seraphy. Cerave is like a navy blue, I'd say, or almost a black. Like, th that's not even close. I, I did gray there. But yeah. I don't, like, it's awful. This is definitely the worst. And it only comes with the beam saber. Only the beam saber. Not a cannon. Uh, it is nice that the, uh, well, the Seraphim, which doesn't, I mean, heck, it, it does come apart, but you're not going to do anything with it. 
Wait, look at that. Oh, that blue. Yeah, the whole thing. The whole Seraphim, just one blue chunk. But it is nice that the cannons can move. Uh, these ones don't, but, you know, it's not the worst in terms of posability either. The uh, knees, well, if you thought they moved, they don't. I wish they did. I guess they thought they were just too chunky to get a hinge in there. I think the bigger hinge, like the bigger chunk, the better. Uh, it is the worst, but I still think for being the worst, it's, it's not horrible. If I remember it correctly, and it was about 500 yen, that's a very good uh, deal. You get the hell in there. For having five pretty pretty good kits for, uh, for what they are. And a 1-200 scale is a really weird scale, but I'm actually starting to accumulate more and more of those, so I'm, I might see if I can find more. But it's a weird line. It was a short-lived line, but I do like it.